West Ham can look forward to the distraction of the Carabao Cup where we take on Liverpool on Wednesday night up at Anfield, trying to get another win <laughs> at somewhere where we haven't won that many games. One, Johnny, one, we, once since, since 1963 in uh, all competitions. Uh, all that's you know. mental, mate. But as, as you see, sitting beside me is Nicky. You all right, mate? Liverpool will run out comfortable 3 0 winners against Bournemouth and we head up there for the fourth round, I believe. Yes, the yeah, yeah, fourth round, yeah. You know, Nick, do you think we've got a chance? No. No, I, I don't think so. I no. don't think so. I, I think we've got a lot of problems at the minute and I think when you look at, uh, you know, the way we're trying to build this team, trying to discover our, you know, our best team, uh, it's going to take a minor miracle. The only, the only mm-hmm. way I can see anything happening is if they have a real off day yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they change heavily. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm with you, mate. I I fully expect them to change because you know they've 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 got Champions League to worry about. Obviously, they're they're trying to push. You know, with with the, the start Arsenal's had where they've dropped points in the league. You know, Liverpool probably looking at themselves now as you know we're open to be their main contenders to Manchester City, and especially with the City Arsenal game tomorrow, yeah. that's going to be playing in the back of the mind and, yeah, and the yeah. manager's mind as well. So. You know, I'm, I'm, I am with you. I, I, I think it's very difficult for us to get anything up there. But if they make a lot of changes, what do we do? Do we make the changes or do we go strong no, knowing that Brentford's uh, a be, big game on the To be fair, uh, uh, with, with the squad we've got, and I know it hasn't quite clicked yet, but I think we've got enough there to, to sort of like even make a few changes. I, I want to see some positive changes rather mm-hmm. than, you know, changes for the sake of changes sake. Uh, you know, I, I think Fabianski is going to come in as a yep. goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, but I think that might be a positive. I don't think Ariola's playing very well. No, I'm with you, you know, mate. And, and, and I thought Fabianski, everything he's done this season. I think he played the Palace, didn't he? Played the Palace, Fabianski. Didn't he come on second half? Was that against? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But he, he played at Palace. We've won that game. Um, I think I think Ariola's been quite poor, and I've been. You know, I'm a big fan of Ariola, mm-hmm. but you know. Um, Fabianski's a, a very goal, capable goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, I want to see Tadebo. I want to see Tadebo. Yeah, I'm with I, you, mate. Um, you know, I, I think the midfield needs a little bit. I think I, I, I'd like to see a bit of like Soler just to get. I thought he'd done quite well today when he yeah, came he on. He did. He done all right. Um, to get some, 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 you know, a ball playing centre midfielder in there and have a go at them. You know, I think sometimes in the past we've had a, um, a sort of a. Uh, what's the word a, 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 a habit of going there and, and showing them too much respect you know I think like last year when we went there in the Carabao Cup I think we showed them too much respect they weren't great yeah, they yeah, beat us 5-1 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, so it's going to be tough and and you know the, the Carabao Cup has made sure it's going to be tough for, for you know quite a few teams um, you know and you see Man United even going to Barnsley and winning mm-hmm. 7-0 you know it, it's, it's you know they're, they're confidence builders for these managers and Arn Slot you know coming in you know he's, he's done well when he's came here yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. he's going to want as many wins under his belt as he can whether it be Carabao Cup or whatever they lost to Forest last week it was a bit of a blip I don't know whether you saw it but no, no. it was uh, it was a bit of a barrage <laughs> in terms of like the um, you know the chances created by Liverpool and, and Forest a bit of a smash and grab but you know we have got the players to, to compete yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and, and we was highly lauded at the beginning of the season for a reason um, and the reason is that we've got good players yeah. and people you know there's, we've got players that people in other teams would take we've just got to make it click and you know it, listen it could be a very big confidence builder if we go there on Wednesday and, and pick up a result whatever result it is do, do you think it, even in a way if, if, we, if we get beat more the way we get beat. You yes. know, if we go there, have a go and, and, and give them a game and lose a 1-0 or even a 2-0 to, you know, because look, if Liverpool go strong, they've got some quality players. But like you said, so have we. But, you know, with with them looking at us at confidence and to keep winning games, is is now looking at it, you know, we've won on the road, we won in the Carabao against Bournemouth. But now he's under a bit... I, I, look, I got criticised for saying this so early on, but... The pressure's starting to build now because the identity of West Ham isn't there at the moment. Yeah, we, yeah. We, you know, we we can see little bits like we were saying earlier today that, that we've got more possession of the ball, mm-hmm. you know, but we seem to be doing less with it. 
Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, we, we need to find um, that sweet spot. We mm. need to find that sweet spot. You know, a lot of possession around, in and around the area, we're trying to push high, yep. which in some games I don't think is the right thing to do. I don't yeah. think it was right to do against Chelsea. I think they've got the pace to get behind us. We got caught out three mm-hmm. times tonight, today fight by the pace. Well, I say three times, two times, and then one, they basically walked it in because yeah, we yeah. were so out of position. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, and I think you know you have to pick and choose when you when you drop it, and, I, and I, you know, and this you know, I would be a a, a, a fool to mm-hmm. sit here and and, and not criticise Lopetegui for doing it because I've done it so much for David Moyes, didn't yeah. change it, um, you know, uh, according to the game that we're playing. Yep. You know, and if he does that, then he's no different than David Moyes. Yeah. But yeah. you know, as I say, he's still trying to build a team around it. I'll give him ten games. As I said, well, and that's the thing. I think as as when you look at new managers coming in, you have to give them ten games, and it, realistically, ten league games, because it's really hard to judge anything on the cup fixtures because so many changes are made to give players time. You know, going into this game, you know, I want us to win the trophy. That's that's what we go and see, and it always seems to be difficult for us to. We always seem to get one of these big boys somewhere along the line. You know, like you said, they've the, the competitions a little bit rigged to make things easier for the teams that are in, in Europe. But it's now we're, it's that catch-22 situation, I think. Like you said, I'm, I'm with you. I want to see Tadebo. But it's like, okay, well, if we go out there and we've got a weakened side and we put the likes of Tadebo in who's, who's, and, and Saleh, like, I'm with you. I want to see him play as well. Could it have that negative effect from a fan, from the fans on the, on the players, but also on the players' mentality that if we go there... And these players play, and we get hiding. Do you know what I mean? Okay, they've got the minutes under the belt, but their confidence is shot. Mm-hmm. So you know, for me, it's a very catch twenty two risk either way. We had a tough start to season. We have, we have, we've had a tough start. You know, we beat Bournemouth, and I think we was fortunate to beat Bournemouth. Yep. Um, in the last round, um, we beat Palace, which I thought was a good performance. We drew to Fulham, which we probably deserved to lose. Yeah. But yeah. them them games against Villa, you know, when you see a, a, you know how they're doing. Uh, Man City and Chelsea at home, you know, they've, you, you want to get some home wins under your belt, you know, and you, I, I can't, I was going to say, I can't wait for the Ipswich game, <laughs> but, you know, what happens if you don't win that, you know, and, and you it. know, d- 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 does it put you further in the mire? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know, what's the answer? Um, we've still got some tough games coming up. This so thing, a win against Liverpool would be major. Oh, massive, major, massive confidence boost. You know, like players getting game. You know, if we do make the changes, players getting game time. You, you, you're sitting there looking at, and it. This, this is the thing with cup games. When things ain't going right in the league, if you can get a big win in the cup, yeah, or a good kick, win in the cup. It's, it's not just good win in the cup. It's to kick start something to kick start. I was looking at that Chelsea game today, and I thought to myself, if we. If we can get a result here, yeah, mate, we'll kickstart our season from there. Oh. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll kickstart our season from there. Yeah, yeah, you know, but we we didn't. We, no. we you know the players did not bring it today, no. and, 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 and they've got to bring it Wednesday. Yeah, and and that is the thing. Whoever gets the chances, and again, this is the other hindsight of it. If the players like Soler, Danny Ings, Talibo get the chance, get the start. That's their opportunity to say, "Come on, Gaffer! Look, look! I've done this. Look, I've performed this well. I've done this level. You've got to pick me. You know, make yourself unpickable. Because at the moment, when you when you look at the, the players that have done that, Danny Ings now for me, he has to start Wednesday. He has to be given a chance. But given a chance in a side that's going to suit him, not playing a lone striker by yourself." Because we know that doesn't work. We knew that in the Moyes era, and we know that now. Danny Ings playing up top on his own will not work. So is it now time for Lopetegui to go, OK, you know, this guy's come on. He come on in one game, gave us a goal for it. Come against Fulham, got us the equaliser. I've got to give him a chance now, but I've got to give him a chance in a fair side. So I'm going to have to tinker my system. Okay. So for me, that's what I'd like to see. A little change in the system, a little change up in the formation to give players like Danny Ings who deserves a start, more of an opportunity to go in out there and prove what he's worth. Right, I'm still going to tell you what formation I'm going to go. Go on, mate. 3 5 two. Yeah, go on. I'm, I'm with you on that one. 3 5 two, what, two. what are you going for the 11? Uh, I'll go with Fabianski. Yep. I'll go with Kilman. Yep. Mavropanos. Yep. And Tadebo. Yep. I'll go with Emerson and wan as the wing-backs. I'll go with Pakatar. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Alvarez. Yep. And Soler. Kudus and Danny Ings. Yeah, I, mate, I'd like to I see think that. Bo- I know. think Bowen deserves dropping, mate. I, I don't I'm, think he's been great. No, I'm, I'm with you. I know, I, I, yeah, he got a goal and all that earlier on in the season, but I, today I just thought he just, we, uh, in a way, he sort of had this lull the other season when me and Dan got called out quite a lot for criticising him a bit. And he, he's not got started yet. And today I thought was one of his, probably for me, the today was the worst performance, performance he's yeah. ever had in the Claret and Blue. And... I'm, I'm with you, so I'd probably go the same system, uh, but... Well, up top, Kudus, yeah? No, I'd, I'd or go... Or would you stick Kudus behind? Or would you not go Kudus? No, I'm more what looking... Somerville? I think he deserves to start. That's the thing, it's hard, isn't it, now? Yeah, yeah. Somerville's but performance I think just for the start. game, yeah. I think that would be a solid system. It would, it, it would, it would do something to them. Yeah. yeah. I'm, look, I'm Fabian Sitt starting goal. I'd, I would go Mavra Panos, Kilman, and uh, Tadebo to give that Tadebo a start. Um... Wamasaka right, Emerson left. This worries me because Emerson's only had decent left 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 wing or left fullback. I think you see with Creswell today he wasn't brilliant. Um, oh, I thought that's harsh on Creswell, and I'm not like Creswell's biggest fan. Yeah, as you know, but and I think in the midfield, I don't think Rodriguez starts. I go Alvarez, Suchek, Pakatar, and I go Danny Ings and Kudus. All right, I said Danny so, Ings Kudus. Yeah, so it'd be interesting, but yeah. I, I'd stick. Suchek in the midfield. Absolutely mid-field. fucking Just... diabolical formations, <laughs> diabolical teams and all that. But, you know, this is the thing. We need to see something a bit different. We need players getting game time. Look, you know, you, you could probably say that Andy Irvine deserves a run out because, you know, he come on today, he didn't do much wrong. I but he was good, yeah. I thought he was you know, decent. It, it's just that worry that you've got big games coming up. Brentford now is a massive game. So... I think with Brentford, I think with the Brentford, Ipswich and then who? Tottenham, isn't it? Tottenham. Oh, that could be tough, saying. yeah. It's, 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 these are all, all tough Brent, games. Brentford, but... Ipswich and then Tottenham. Yeah. I think if we can get a little run of games together. Yeah, exactly. Starting with Liverpool, of course. Mate, listen, I'll take... A, I'll take... Take a penalty win. Take a penalty win. Was it, was it one the other night with the Oxford United? 15-16 or something. That was mental. Right? That's what I'm saying. You know, you, you can go there and, and cause a little bit of an upset. But for me, it's the levels of the performance. If we do get beat, don't get beat like we did today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's how I look at it. Yeah, yeah I that's understand. What I'm yeah. Uh, True. Nick, thank you very much for joining me, mate. We'll be back again <sighs> for all the rest of the build-up and the aftermath of the Liverpool game. And then I will be back for the preview uh, for Brentford at the weekend. Make sure you check out all the videos that we've got, the fan cams, post-match pint, Friday night pint. But there is just one thing left to say, mate. Come on, you Irons. Come on, you Irons. <laughs>